Detectorville. And I'd just like to say it was an absolute belting time. I had a right laugh with all my usual friends and the new friends that I've met. So thanks a lot for making it fun, everybody. I cocked up a little bit and didn't end up doing a whole session of detecting both days because I ended up winning racing on the Saturday, which threw me on fault for not booking the morning off. So yeah, I missed a lot of the detecting time. I did manage to get out on the Sunday, but it was it's more a social event for me anyway, and catching up with friends and new friends and meeting people, helping with people's settings and stuff, and just getting on the drink, basically. So yeah, so I got out on the Sunday morning, and I wasn't expecting to find that much, actually. I, did, I had five grotty Romans, one that was half decent, but I gave them to a couple of young kids, and they were chuffed to bits with them. So it made their detectable worthwhile. So, but yeah, I found this beauty and I've actually recorded it with the floor art detectable and it's a Roman brooch and it's got a dog on it if you can see. It's got beautiful detail, it'd have had enamel through all them little cracks there, but it's still in absolute belting condition. A lot of people are telling me that they think it's, it was the actual find of the detectable, so I'm actually chuffed to bits with that now. It's not really on one of my bucket lists of brooches, I've had a couple before, but not one in that condition so anyway on to today i'm going to go out digging today on some other land i went out yesterday on the medieval land that i've got and it didn't throw up much really i was a little bit disappointed but the ground is really really dry and i don't think i've been getting much depth even with an ox so i'm going to give that a little bit of a break until it gets some um moisture in the ground today i'm going to go out on a field that i've been on before and rachel's actually found some roman stuff so we're going to get out and have a go on that i'd just like to say thank you to everybody who is subscribed to my channel and who watches my videos because I've, I've hit 2000 yesterday and that's in space for a year and a half with the six months i've had off detecting so i'm really really grateful and i'm going to do a prize draw soon i'm just trying to get some prizes together off people if not i can um i can i'm going to get some of my own stuff together that i found and maybe do a prize draw with them but we'll see that's going to come up in the coming week so if you haven't subscribed and you want to win some and you don't mind my videos then go and click subscribe and watch some watch some of my other stuff um like i said i'm really grateful i'm not going to chat for much longer i'm going to get on with it now hopefully i'll have something nice to show you and i'll catch you all really oh sorry go before um i start digging go and the, the bits that are coming up now is the, the bits I did at Detectable. My GoPro played up and I lost a load of footage again, so I only got four or five clips. But there's some funny little bits and there is actually, luckily, the moment I found the brooch. So, I'll throw all that in now. That's for Detectable bit. And then we'll get on to today's detecting. I'll catch you all in a bit. Good morning, everybody. It's finally day two of Detectable. I ain't got a chance to go dig in today yet, but I will be today, so I'll keep you all um, in the loop and see what we find. Someone's put rubbish stickers on this table. Who the hell is this? Ash unearthed.co.uk. Oh, maybe he's one of them top U YouTube stars. Yeah, he must be a YouTube star. Anyway, get over and subscribe to him, he's a, he's a legend. We'll see you in a bit. We finally got to field 22. Dan and everybody's there. It's a cracking day. I just had me probably my second signal in here, and it is. Hang on, where's the detail? There. A little Roman coin. Second signal. I'm buzzing now. Hopefully, there's a lot more. Let's I'm keep buzzing. going. Third signal. I love what it is. Oh, that is a belt as well. Look at that, a Roman brooch. Dan, Roman brooch, brooch. Next signal is uh, George V. Get that a little clean, I'll come back to you. Right, this field, this is it. I can't believe as well, I thought it was gonna be stubble, but they've actually flattened it. Get in, I'm buzzing now. Hopefully we'll find something good. If I don't, I'm going to be quite um, depressed because that's two days in a row now that I haven't found out pretty decent since that fibula. And then that might end up being one of prizes because if it's a jinx towards me, she'll have to go. So, yeah. 
<laughs> we'll keep going anyway, and I think I've got a cameraman coming as well today, so cracking day for it. Beautiful sunshine. Let's go. Right, just had a signal here and it came in at 11. It's not much cop, but at the end of the day, it's another decent signal and it's another buckle. We'll keep going. Mitch, turn it around, show everybody a wave. That's the cameraman for today, everybody. Let's go. Right, poor Mitch is having an awful time with this. We've gone all the way across this field, had absolute rubbish and bullet tips. Probably had about 50 bullet tips. And I just dug this signal here. And in it, before I even looked, was a piece of Roman pottery. So that's not a bad sign. This is a villa over here, a villa over there. So I'm hoping that they came down that bit now and we'll find more targets. Anyway, I just got 22 and it's half of, or part of, a crottle bell. It's not much, but trust me, after the amount of rubbish we've dug, dug for the last hour, hour that's, that's a god gift. No detail to it, I don't think. No, well that's part of a crottle bell. I'm gonna keep going, hopefully things will change now. Right, I've had way more bullet tips and everything else, and this is this is the only half decent real proper target I've had in the last 20 minutes. 3 and 24. We'll dig it together and see if we can good together because we need some luck here today. It's probably going to be a tin can now in me. And it is. What the hell is that? <laughs> Looks like a bottle lid, but it ain't got wells. <laughs> Yet again, trash. Maybe a horse pipe. I tell you what that be. Be a horse pipe, like thing that you screw on. In other words, hedge fodder. Uh, I got a signal here, guys. A nineteen. And more, yet more rubbish and this is probably going to be even more rubbish it's gold mate it's gold no, <laughs> no. I'm not going to swear but it's a rubbish Paddock, mate. <laughs> yeah. Well, racing then, you did. I was going to nick it off you and run away. Right. It's no Roman coin, but it is a coin, or it was. To be honest with you, I won't even say it's even worth telling you that I found a coin. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've been cursed by something this week because I've had nothing but trash. My stomach's hungry. <laughs> Do you reckon if we're good at George without, we'll be able to buy dinner? Definitely. <laughs> right, we'll keep going. So, after digging so much rubbish, so much trash, and thinking that my life was going to end. I just dug a signal here and it was only came in at three and four and I said to him, Romans do come in three and four and I've dug it and I've finally found it and I am 100% sure it's definitely a little Roman coin. Look, you can see some of the detail on the back. I, Mitch has probably never seen a Roman coin before so, but there, look, there you go, it's got some detail on the back, let's have a look. I don't even know what that is, I've never even seen a Roman coin with that, it's like a little cross on the back in the square. But yeah, that has made my day because I'm telling you, the amount of rubbish we've had to dig to get this one little 
Roman coin. <laughs> All the trash we've dug and we're finally starting to get some little bits that we can be half happy about. Normally I wouldn't be, but then again I do like finding these. This came in at 20 odd and it's a little musket ball. No, I know it's not much, but at the end of the day it's old and it's cold, so yeah. Mitch can have that as memorabilia. Thank you, Shunt. Yeah, I said a Signum 11 in this all here, and I believe it to be. Well, it's definitely got a flower on that side anyway, so I believe it to be a rose farthing. Just trying to get the back sorted out. I can't really work out the back of it. But if you take a look, there we go, that side, and that side. There we go. I'll take that all day after what we found so far. That is a godsend. And it's, yeah, it's definitely a rose farthing, so I think it's around 1600s or 15, late 1500s. Can't really remember, but yeah. We'll keep going. Right, this is Mitch's first time detecting, so he's got his first signal here. It's coming at 12. It's about this, so watch off, mate. Let's just get in. Let's see if it's his lucky. Lucky first all. I'm obviously going on this ground at the minute because the uh, permissions I have are all pasture and the ground is so dry that um, I can't really do it at the minute because it just ruins fields. So this is why I'm having to go on fields like this where there's not that many targets. So, but keep watching because there will be some great new sites coming up soon. Swing over it, no, swing, swing. Nice and slow, slow it down, slow it down. Right, so let's see it. Let's see if it's his lucky first signal. It's not it, is I it? Hope so. I hope it is as well, mate. Right. So it's in here. So slowly, oh, oh, hi, hi. What is that? I'd say that's some sort of little mount. You never really see that. That's a strange little item. Maybe it is his lucky first signal. That's cool, that. All right, we better keep going. Hopefully he's a little bit more lucky than me. Mm. 